So I've been doing these rideshare programs. Uh, uh, rideshare business type of thing. Uber, Lyft. And this showed up the other day. My friend got me into it a while back. And I think it's after 250 or something like that rides, you get one of these things. So this is how it comes, is how it shows up. The instructions are one and two. <laughs> it's pretty simple. It seems pretty simple. It mounts to a, uh, a, a base that's stuck to the dash, but this is magnetically attached to that, I believe. And uh, he showed me his. It looks the same as far as I can tell. Comes in this really sleek, sleek little uh, swimming pool, swimming pool type of thing. And inside is this. What is that? I don't know. Oh, it's cables and other things. The base, of course. So this is supposed to attach magnetically. Yeah, see? <laughs> it did. So that's cool. Nice and strong. Charger, good. Uh, that's it. So it's super simple. I haven't paired it yet, I just opened it as you can see. But this is how it's all gonna work. And I just accomplished that sort of a goal. It wasn't you know, my goal, but it's, it's it's a marker as far as how many you've done. Yeah, and I'll tell you my experience with it so far. I'm actually still in the new writer, uh, you know, version of it. I'm working on a beginner promotion. The Uber and Lyft both have different promotions when you start off. Um, but we can talk about that a little later. This is just about opening this lift box. Okay. See you out on the road. Super slow day. But, you know, one of the fun things is uh, helping people, for me at least, helping people do their thing. And there was a girl here I just picked up. And she was telling me how the first driver somehow didn't see her or whatever, just drove right on by. And they could, they, she couldn't call him, whatever. And she's missed her train to uh, home, which is like almost an hour away. She's commuting. So please get there before, you know, the train gets by. And apparently it's coming right now. So I got her here in time because there's no train yet. She's just out there waiting. And, you know, it's nice to help people do their thing. This is the parking lot for the metro station. She said it's the last train of the day. Yeah, I hear a train coming. I don't know if you could hear that, but... You can hear the horn. So that's kind of nice. You know, you help people get get their life back together, get a job done. I do enjoy that part of the job. And I've always enjoyed driving and riding and, you know, the road, on the open road, on the road. Uh, I, I don't care for traffic, but it's not that bad when you feel like you're doing something for somebody else. And of course, we're getting paid for the ride. <sighs> but today's been terrible slow. I'm barely going to make my quota before 10, probably. Just this time I've been sitting here, I'm on, I'm on the clock. I'm online, but, you know, I'm not getting any hits because there's nothing happening. I kind of wanted to see this thing pull up. There it goes. So I got her here on time.
So I don't know if you saw that, but I, I could, I mean, I, I don't know if you could tell, but people are getting on and off, and I could see her. I knew what she looks like. Uh, she said it just sits here for a few minutes, and then it carries on. So that's why she really had to be here on time. She was kind of worried about getting down here, but we made it with plenty of time. It was like five minutes early. So, see, it's going. Oh, I just got a hit, too. So, there goes the train. Um, that was what she was waiting for. And, you know, I helped her get there in time, which is nice. And she's on her way home. 45 minutes by train, I believe. Anyways, I did get a hit finally with sitting here, so it's time to go for me to go back to work. I'll talk to you next episode. <laughs>